Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you all are doing well this morning. I hope all is going your way. It is early, early in the morning. Everything looks so nice and fresh. Very neat. Mm. And something is eating on this basil. <laughs> yes, buddy. <laughs> but I'm going to take care of him. I have lots and lots of new flowers coming up this morning. Lots of flowers are waking up. And this is from the tote. Yeah. And the seedlings are coming up in the wild part of the garden. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. And of course the hibiscus. And this is another flower that I wanted to tell you all that hummingbirds are very attractive to. The Mexican sunflower. Oh yeah. They love that flower. But remember that the Mexican sunflower, she gets big and she demands space <laughs> and she go get her space. <laughs> but that's her. And hummingbirds and monarch butterflies and they love the Mexican sunflower. Yeah. But all is well this morning, all is doing good. But today, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you all an update on some vegetables and we gotta look at some vegetables that we dropped just to see how they're doing this morning. Yeah. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. All right, guys, so the first uh, update is on the Moringa tree. So many of you may not know that last spring I chopped her down. She was very tall and I chopped her down, but she's, she's doing great. She's doing really good. She's growing very, very well. She reaches now to my neck. Yeah, so she's doing good. And I have more flowers in um, Black Eyed Susie's, which tomato plant about to take over. But there's one here. And this is an overwinter Black Eyed Susie. She never died. Never died. Yeah. And the tomato plants. <laughs> They're just gone. They're just gone, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but um, I'm going to, I've, I've cut them down and um, kind of got all the suckers off and so on and so on, but I'm going to do it again because it needed. It's just really jungly in there. Um, all the tomato plants has tomatoes. This is another little, well, it's a pot that I have. And it have a, this is a four o'clock flower. This is sage. And this is some Chinese pink celery. Yeah, that's what that is. Growing very well. That's another four o'clock down there. And this is, 
the CB's Greenhouse and Garden Tomato Bed. And, you know, it just speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. And there's a big sunflower coming up back there. Doing really good. Lots of tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have more tomato plants in this pot. And here is just some plants. I have um, marigolds, some cactus, and aloe vera that a neighbor gave me. And there's more flowers coming up, some morning glory that's going to love on that tree, uh, on that uh, the fence there. And the sweet potatoes. Yay! This is a mint I've been having growing in this container for years. I say years, I mean years. So there's two different kinds of mint. This is lemon uh, balm and that is peppermint. And that is ginger. And there's one start coming out the back. Oh, there's another one coming up right there. You can see it right there. It's coming up. It's ginger. Hey, ginger. Yum. And yeah, y'all know who that is. That's kohlrabi. That's the one in this grow bag. My um, Sarah grow bag. And that's two cool, two purple kohlrabis in there. Yeah, yeah. And these flowers is amazing. Just amazing. I love them. Girl. I love these flowers. Yeah. This is uh, broccoli rob. Broccoli rob. Now some a little seedlings that I planted. Some of them are coming up. And this... Yeah, that is Cardone. It's Cardone. Yep. Here I have some nasturtiums in this hanging pot that is not hanging, <laughs> but it's nasturtiums. And now the biggest kohlrabi in the garden. Here's one here. That's kohlrabi. And, ooh, I see something, y'all. I got to get in first. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is my uh, my biggest kohlrabi. This is her hair. Well, she is huge, y'all. That's that's big. That's very big. This, this camera is not doing it. <laughs> she is really big. It's like a baseball, maybe. But anyway, she's gorgeous. I'm thinking about allowing her to go to sea, but then, shoo, I want to eat this. <laughs> yeah. And this is some Chinese um, uh, celery that's going to seed. I'm going to just allow it to go to sea. Yeah. Um, yeah, more purple kohlrabi down there. But I love it, y'all. I love it. The sun is coming up now. <laughs> but, uh, of course, this is some nasturtiums. And this is a black-eyed Susie that have not, um, bloomed yet. But she is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Fuzzy, fuzzy leaves. Very nice. I love it. So um, this is the rim, and in the rim I have a lot of celery going to seed, and of course they have about four kohlrabis in here. Yeah, I'm gonna let her do her thing, and so I could get this cleaned out and drop some more uh, brassicas in here. Mm -hmm. 
So this is one of my uh, little beds um, that I'm keeping. <laughs> and this is uh, my tomato plants. And if you can remember, I dropped some flower seeds in here and they're all coming up there. And uh, my Dollar Tree uh, cages. There's one. I found this one because I had two. I didn't know where I, what I did with this one, but I did. And I got that one. And big tomato plant here. Uh, they had about four or five tomato plants in here. This is my overwintered pepper with that sweet banana pepper on it. And two big uh, onions and garlics. I don't know, they huge, huge. But, uh, and peppers, I uh, have pepper plants down there too. But they're looking good this morning. There's another pepper plant. And the bad thing is that I do need to spray. I do need to spray, but because of all the rain we've been having, you know, it's just been impossible to spray uh, the garden uh, and uh, you know, have everything come right. Yeah, because, hey, yeah, more and more um, celery going to seed. Look at that in there. You see that? Get out of there. <laughs> yeah, the celery is going to seed. And that is what that is. Mm hmm but the other ones are doing good. I cooked some last night. It was pretty good. <laughs> More tomato plants and onions. Yeah. So this is my cucumbers that then grab the pepper plant and just choking it. <laughs> but uh, yeah they full of flowers and they doing good yeah they doing really good yep I'm just looking for a cucumber y'all <laughs> and of course these are the flowers over here yeah these are gladiolas bulb flowers exactly what this is four o'clock um, plant right there yeah and those pretty babies hmm. this is a overwinter pepper just stayed and i just let her stay she is hot hot as fire <laughs> but <laughs> I can it for my uh, my son-in-law. He he loves it. He loves it. So that's for Keith. <laughs> this is my morning glory. My grandpa odds, and they are all over up in there. They are so beautiful. I love 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 those little purple flowers. They look good in my garden. Yeah, and more nasturtiums. Yep. And this is my garlic. This is my garlic. So, if you have never grown garlic before, um, oh my God. <laughs> when I did get a successful garlic harvest, now many times I've, I've grown garlic but I grown the garlic just to eat the chives, right? And I only ate the chives because, first of all, I do love the chives. They're good. They, it's like green onions, but garlic. And I love garlic. But for some reason, I just could not get that bulb. But I learned a couple of things. It's that um, I had to... Uh, find out what garlic grows well in my zone 
Yeah, I had to find out what garlic grows well in my zone. You know, a lot of times we see people growing garlic. Oh, we want garlic like they have. Sometimes it just don't happen, right? Also, um, there is a there is this one stem that comes out the middle, and it's called a scape. And it comes up. Now listen, I had one or two scapes on my garlic when I harvest my first uh, successful harvest. But all of them did not have that scape on it. But I did wait for them. And when I saw one or two, mm-hmm, I went to harvesting. And yes. I did get that bulb, and I've been getting that bulb ever since. Now that I know what variety of garlic grows well in my zone, and that is what I plant, and have patience. Garlic takes forever. <laughs> I planted this garlic in August, August 2019, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so have patience when you're planting garlic and you want the bulb. But if you want the chives, they're delicious. So this is the red buckets. This is my beans that is doing so good, so good. And of course, my peppers are doing well. This is an overwintered pepper. You can see all the peppers on here. These are Serrano peppers, and I love these peppers. They are, they got a little kick to them, but they are so flavorful. I love them. And when I can them, oh my God, I love, I can sit down and eat a whole little jar of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they are delicious. I love them. That's Serrano peppers, and this, this plant, overwintered. She did good. Here's more peppers. Yep, they are all looking well. Now this is that um, dragon um, radish. I'm going to put a little uh, cage in there with her so she can have something to lean on. Yeah. <laughs> they need a home, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm going to give them to my neighbor. Yeah. More peppers behind me. Here they are. Here. Here. And here. And there. More peppers. Looking good. Basil. <laughs> no. I haven't did it. <laughs> haven't did it. <laughs> This is some um, oregano oh. from, from about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Tomato plants, more tomato plants. Tomato plants, tomato plants. <laughs> ah, and lentils, lentils. Oh, that, um, Celery going to seed like look <laughs> she looks pretty though looks pretty and this is a pepper where I dropped three pepper seeds and this is the one that came up yep and the corn looking good Zenas herbs yeah sage you see yeah my basil we started at the beginning of this uh, clip mint and that is chickpeas it's chickpeas yeah that's chickpeas and more tomatoes in Katrina bricks. Let me show you from the back so you can see. 
how they're growing out of there. See that? Katrina bricks. That's where they're planted in. Yep. So, let's go to the side, side of the house. The fig trees. Now, you know, I don't go in looking to see if I have a fig, but you know, if she show herself to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see her, but I'm more than sure they coming. They coming. <laughs> but um, here are the two fig trees. They're doing good. Uh, a lemon tree here. This is doing good. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Jamaican sorrow. Very nice. The olive tree. The olive tree is doing good. Look at the olives. Look at the olives. They're looking good. Yeah. And the welcoming committee. <laughs> She's going to be taller than the, the, uh, the banana tree. Let's see. There she is. There the sunflowers are. They are just very, very tall. So there's lots of flowers under there, but yeah, you see some of them. <laughs> but um, the sunflowers is taking over. You see that's corn in here. Of course, I have two um, avocado trees in here, but yeah. <laughs> This, this is going to be amazing here. So this is one of my gladiolas in the front of the house. Can you look at that? It's blooming, y'all. She blooming. She blooming. How gorgeous. How gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> And something I had not expected because I just was not paying attention to her. And that's Miss Cardone. She's putting on her flowers. She's putting on her flowers. Oh my. Oh my. And, oh, there's about six of them in there. Absolutely. Go, Miss Cardone. Gonna have some purple flowers out here. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's her, y'all. I want to thank you all for walking around with me in my garden. Yeah, it is early in the morning. Uh, I really don't know what time it is, but I do know it's between 7 and 8 a.m. I know that, yeah. But uh, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. All right, guys. Later, y'all.